hey y'all long time no see i know and my last video about leaving nursing the comments were turned off i didn't need to do that <sighs> how are you guys doing i hope you guys can hear me and i hope like this is not going to be too shaky because i literally just bought this car mount so i can start recording videos for this channel and another channel i'm about to start how y'all doing how is your facility or hospital treating you talk, you guys talk to me tell me have you taken the test have you guys some of you guys challenged who passed do you guys need help um i've been gone for a little minute i have so much to tell you guys as it pertains to working doing agency for covid making covid money and considering still leaving um so when covid first happened i had a death in my family my father passed away um so that was right before covid so covid happened and it was crazy the hospital just got crazy like Nurses were quitting, techs were getting sick because the facility, the hospital that I work at, they um, were exposing us to COVID and not really telling us. And in the beginning it was crazy. People were coming up from the ER and not have been tested. It's a whole thing. So anyway, other hospital groups were paying their nurses and their techs extra money to you know, be in the hospital. And our hospital wasn't doing that, and it was it made the news. Of course it did. I'm not gonna talk about which hospital group I work for. Um, and so there was that. So, of course, I know a lot of other nurses, nurse practitioners. I know a little bit of everyone in the medical field. And I got wind of the federal government hiring an agency to come to Florida and do like COVID testing. And they were paying $30 an hour, $31 an hour. So I did that. I did COVID testing with an agency and made a lot of money. And I took a leave of absence from my hospital to do that. And it was really good money. I actually just got back to the hospital I feel like someone's watching me when you move up. It's so awkward. I actually just got back to the hospital and I hate it. I'm not used to it. I don't want to be there. Also, you guys know I have a business. I want to focus more on my business. That's a whole other topic. So because I was conflicted about whether or not I was going to stay in the medical field and progress to nursing or if I was going to continue to do agency work I had to come back and tell you guys so that's where I've been that's what's been going on oh guys I want to make a separate video on how to become a med tech like a medication tech because I also did that in July and I forgot to make a video about it I even forgot I became a tech like completely completely forgot that I became a tech um I recently applied for a med tech job that they start off at 16 but I haven't, I mean, it was right before Thanksgiving, so they haven't gotten back to me yet. But yeah. Um, guys, tell me how you are. Tell me what's going on. I finally found the password to the Instagram that's linked to this YouTube channel. So yeah. <sighs> I'm sorry. I wish that I could be more used to you guys. But you guys know life, things happen and life moves fast. And right now, I should be finishing up an LPM program, but COVID happened, and I never, I decided not to get into one because I already have a business, but I do still want to share my journey as a nursing assistant, and who knows, I just may get into that program. Um, right now, the amount of money that's out here for medical professionals, like all medical professionals, professionals especially nursing assistants LPNs and RNs it's insane like these agencies are paying so much money to have us come to their state or just work in our own states but like with COVID care 
When it's the federal government funding these agencies, the PPE is on point. I will say that because I did it and that was fine. But um, this is just a little update video about where I've been and what's been going on. So just a little recap. My hospital was like not funding us extra money for working with COVID patients. So I decided to go to agency and employ patients and get paid.